My name is Robert Suntai. I'm the president of CVIP Institute. We are a foundation in the Philippines that does science, education, and advocacy to protect the Verde Island Passage. Many people, of course, know about the Coral Triangle, but the Coral Triangle is kind of like the, the dartboard. The more focused area is the Sulu Sulawesi Seascape, and in there is the center of the center, which is the Verde Island Passage. We, we heard a lot about the uh, major climate conference, which was held in Paris recently, and you know, a lot of that was kind of, I think, considered by people as kind of motherhood statements and very high level targets. For me, I'd like people to understand that everyone can do something in their own small way. Anything they can do to reduce carbon emissions, to reduce the pollution in the water. If you go picnicking by the sea, don't throw your trash. Pick up trash when you can see it. If you see sea creatures, you know, don't, uh, don't scoop them up and bring them home for your aquarium. Uh, the more we can do to protect our oceans, the better chance we have of protecting our planet for the long term. We always say that uh, if plan A doesn't work, there's a plan B, but in this case, we've got planet Earth, we have no planet B. My name is Kent Carpenter, and I'm a professor in biological sciences at Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia. Well, I first got involved in the Verde Island Passage when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in the Philippines in the 1970s. So I started in 1975, and as a Peace Corps volunteer, I had probably the best job that ever was and ever will be in the, in the Peace Corps because I was in charge of coral reef research in the Philippines with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. So one of the biggest problems in, in the Verde Island Passage that is, are causing environmental impacts is uh, fishing, so overfishing. So uh, many marine parks have been created in the Verde Island Passage and uh, one of the things that has been done to reverse the effects of overfishing is a very active um, policing of these marine protected areas. So there's a group of people there called the Bantai Daga, and that means that they are the, the, uh, the ocean guards or the sea guards. And these people are, are essentially hired to make sure that the rules of the marine protected areas are upheld. The Philippines and the Verde Island Passage is a very, very interesting place to visit because of its uh, beautiful coral reefs, uh, many, many different species of fish and corals and invertebrates. Um, so one of the main reasons why uh, the, we can sustain livelihoods in the Verde Island Passage is because um, the, fishermen, the fishermen are, are, are turning into uh, people who are helping more with the tourist industry. So conservation essentially is a nice thing to say, but unless you have an alternative uh, for livelihoods, then it's not a very viable uh, solution. So the, the tourist industry, the diving industry is something that's very important there, and uh, for good reason. It's a beautiful place to, to visit and uh, uh, with, with gorgeous reefs.